question from Chris Kirshner. Hey, John. Um, Philly attacked you guys at the rim all night. It seemed like they were getting to the rim pretty easily. What did you see as the biggest issue defensively for that? Um, as you said, it was just, you know, really letting them get downhill. Um, obviously, the actions they were running and uh, the personnel that they have, they, you know, they like to get downhill and uh, get to their game. Uh, I feel like we didn't do our job of not letting them get, you know, uh, tougher shots or, excuse me, we let them get, you know, the shots that they would like to have normally, and uh, that can't happen, uh, especially in a playoff game. So uh, back to the film room. Uh, obviously, we know we can do a better job, so it's just about us locking in and trying to go out there and compete a little harder, a little smarter. Sarah Spencer. Hey, John. Um, I know Embiid is kind of a load out there. Um, just how would you guys, how do you evaluate what you guys were able to do on him tonight? Yeah, we just try to, you know, um, have a concerted team effort to to slow him down. Obviously, a very skilled skilled basketball player. And, um, you know, they, they want to feature him and get him involved. So uh, just our job as a team to try to just slow him down. So um, we got to do that as many times as we can. What are the biggest things you want this team to kind of hone in on defensively moving forward? Um, you know, not to be cliche, but if there's one thing, it's just communication. You know, I always feel like we could just talk more. Um, you know, I always know my saying is that a quiet gym is a losing gym. And we, you know, we're not we're not losers of any sort. So for us, it's, uh, you know, talking to our teammate, teammates and making sure uh, everybody's on the same page, really. Raphael. Hey, John. Tonight, you, you do have a um, good game tonight. W what was it about tonight that you were able to um, get off tonight and um, have your way? Yeah, you know, I didn't really um, try to do too much. I thought my uh, my teammates were finding me when I was open tonight. And, um, you know, I converted those shots. I don't really think, you know. Too much else to say, you know. How I wish I, I wish I could have more nights like that, and you know, more nights like that on a win as well. But, um, you know, like I said, my teammates did a good job of finding me, uh, and I finished finished the play. So, uh, Kevin Chenard, coach said that he because Philadelphia is such an unusual team, he tried some new things in the fourth quarter, and I think one of them was a lineup with you, Danilo, and Clint together. Did that surprise you at all? Not necessarily. Um, you know, I definitely felt like we were going to try to use it at some point. I didn't you know, know when throughout the entire year, if it was going to be, you know, first couple games or in the, in the playoffs. And um, we're here now. Obviously, I felt like, uh, you know, we, we were versatile enough to do that, but some of our first time doing it, and, you know, it is what it is. Davide. Hey, John, going back to this lineup you just talked about with Gallo, you, and, uh, and Clint, uh, what do you think is your strength there, uh, the thing that can, you know, bring you back, um, that, that can help you beat the Sixers? Um, I feel like just playing our game, you know, definitely the first thing is, you know, not turning over the ball. You know, I definitely feel like we had a rough first quarter, uh, let them get momentum. Um by obviously giving them extra possessions and allowing them to play fast. That's, you know, the way they want to play. So uh, I feel like that's the first step. And then, uh, you know, defensively, like I said, communicating and making sure we're on the same page. Um, simple things, but the simple things, you know, make up a lot of ground in the, in the playoffs. So we just got to lock in. Just two more. First from Maria. Hi, y'all. I hope you're well. Looking at the big picture, it's been three games. So what are the key aspects that you can take away from this series against the Sixers? Yeah, obviously it's a very um, you know, fast-paced game. Uh, you know, the Sixers like to get out. Um, they're a great team. They move the ball well. Uh, you know, obviously I feel like we have to play our game and continue to do the things that won us game one and um, got us here to, to this point which, as I said, is move the ball, allow everybody to to touch. And, you know, we play the play the best basketball we can. 
and then be locked in defensively. You know, they're a physical team, um, they're experienced. So, uh, as I said, we just got to uh, turn up our mental focus. Final question from Chris Kirshner. How much do you feel like Philly's size is bothering you guys as a team? Um, I don't wouldn't necessarily say it's bothering us more as it's, um, you know, there's just, there's a big team. You know, I don't necessarily think it's really bothering us in, in the sense, you know, I, I definitely feel like, uh, you know, the fact that they are bigger and, you know, a little bit more experience might, might help them in just the totality of the game. But, um, you know, I feel like we're all, you know, NBA players and seen a bunch of, you know, big dudes, you know, long, long guys on the court every day. Um, just all about adjustments and, and how we handle, you know, what they throw at us. So, Thank you, JC. No problemo.